to your health now and a new development in light adjustable lens implants for your eyes. Patients of a Victoria surgeon say they are seeing brighter colors, more distinct hues and faces in focus like never before. And as a news reporter Aaron Glazer shows us, the new technology is still being studied but will soon hit the market. Good morning, Dr. Riley. Hi, John. How are you? Fine. Fine detail is what university arts professor John Salona was hoping to regain as one of the first patients in Canada to receive new light adjustable lens implants. I could not bring a, an image together. Like if someone, say, was 60 feet away, I couldn't recognize them. You'll be able to see your students way up in that back row now. <laughs> now it's all good to go. Come on up and say hello sometime. The procedure replaces your lens with an artificial one that corrects near and far sightedness. It's best suited for older patients and often achieves better than 2020 vision. Yeah, so everything looks good. The lenses are in perfect position and uh, so we'll adjust. This technology allows us to pretty much put that through worry to bed. We can get people happy. After 50, that lens doesn't work in any of us. It doesn't, it doesn't focus for us and it increasingly, we increasingly lose color vision, we lose contrast, and ultimately we lose visual acuity as the cataract inevitably develops. Two weeks after the eye has had a chance to heal around the implant, patients return for a series of treatments. So it's going to get bright here. By shining an ultraviolet light on the lens, a chemical reaction thickens or thins the silicone so accurately. The focus can be tweaked to match a patient's prescription, eliminating the need for glasses. The advancement in artificial lenses for surgeons is the most exciting development in 60 years. I said to myself all through my career, it just can't possibly get any better than this. <laughs> and it always does. Nine years of clinical studies have shown that once the lens similar to this large-scale model is inserted and locked down, there is no change, and that is what makes it so revolutionary, says Brierley. We see the lens to be as stable as any lens that we put in the eye in terms of its optical qualities after the lock-in. Until then, patients have to wear safety glasses during their two-week recovery. The lock-in is a blanketing of the whole lens with uh, UV light so it uses up the unused macromer so that no change can occur after the patient's finished with this. Light adjustable lenses are still awaiting full approval from Health Canada, but once the procedure gets the blue light, people likely won't blink at looking to change the way they see the world. In Victoria, Aaron Glazier, A News.